Good morning, all. So today we will be dealing with the MATLAB simulation and design of design and MATLAB simulation of DC to DC buck boost converter. So we have already seen what is a buck converter and what is a boost converter. So how how do we design that the waveforms and all? So today we will look about buck boost converter. So you know this is basically the figure. So why the name buck boost? Because it can act both in uh, boosting mode as well as in bucking mode. So it can act both in boost mode and buck mode. Uh, how do we decide? Depending upon the duty ratio. Depending upon the duty ratio D. So it can act both as a buck converter and boost converter depending upon the duty ratio D. So, so I'll say certain things about uh, the buck boost converter. Then uh, regarding a buck, buck boost converter, the output voltage, the output voltage that is V0, voltage V0 will be opposite in polarity opposite in polarity to vs that is the source voltage that is the input voltage so we call it a inverting regulator also so buck boost converter is also called an inverting regulator it's also called an inverting regulator so it can, uh, so since it's a buck boost, both modes are there, it can increase the voltage as well as reduce the voltage. Okay, now we will see how the operation, like what happens when the switch is on and what happens when the switch is off. So during the circulating current mode, so it has two modes of operation that we're not seeing. During the circulating current mode, when switch is on, when switch is on, we can see that this switch when it is on that means switch is on means the diode here will be reverse bias and the current will be circulating here right the current will be circulating here so when we apply kvl uh, we get it like we get it like when switch is on we get it like vs is equal to vl and in the next case when switch is off so you know that source voltage will be here and the, this uh, inductor will get charged. When the switch is off, the inductor will discharge in this direction. So this voltage V0 will be equal to this voltage itself. This voltage V0 will be equal to this voltage. So when switch is off, VL is equal to minus V0. So I will mark the currents also. It's equal to minus V0. So initially the current I will, will be here and after that the direction of the current will be this will be plus, this will be minus so this will, the current will be moving in this direction so this is ID this is IC and this is I0 okay let's see so initially uh, the current will be here and then uh, when this switch is off the current will be flowing in this direction so uh, so on condition, off condition, we have written uh, what is uh, Vs, what is the value of Vl. So will be the source and what will be the output voltage. Then during turn off condition, if you are applying KVL here, we can see that during turn off condition, we can see that the diode current ID is equal to IL, right? Diode current ID is equal to IL. And also, ID is equal to IC plus I0. C plus I0. That means IC is equal to ID minus I0. So basically what happens? So in order to find out the duty ratio, we apply volt second balance. Apply the duty ratio. We go for the volt second balance. So we can write that during on condition 
the uh, voltage is T on into V F plus T of into minus V naught. That's why I wrote this equation here. Equal to zero. So then we go uh, normal way. V S into T on is equal to V naught into T of. So V naught is equal to V S into T on by T of. So, uh, dividing both sides by T, we get V output is equal to V S into D by one minus D. So, this is the equation for uh, duty ratio. Duty ratio output and input. So now we will check the design of buck boost converter. So because basically we are focusing on simulation here. So now we will see the design of buck boost converter. So the design parameters will be x given. Uh, the design parameters are V output is equal to 50 volt. V S is equal to 40 volt. F S is equal to 25 kilohertz. And power is equal to 75 volt and the resistance is also given as 33.33 ohm. Okay. So initially we need to find the duty ratio. Initially we need to find the duty ratio. So V output is equal to minus V. So minus because opposite in polarity, you know, you know how the inductor current will be going. So opposite in polarity to D by 1 minus D, that is. D is equal to, we get it like 0.555. That is 55.5 percent. So from here itself, we can say, because uh, for a buck boost converter, you know, the duty ratio will be varying from, the value of D vary from 0 to 1. So if D greater than 0.5, then it is boost mode. And if D less than 0.5, then it's the buck mode. So now you understood. Okay. So this is the boost mode. And now what is the next step? Next step is to find the value of inductance L. Find the value of inductance L. So we have the equation L minimum is equal to 1 minus D the whole square into R by 2F. F will be the switching frequency and R is the resistance, output resistance. Uh, now we can take 10 or more here, it is given 33 point. The particular question which I took has given value and this question is from uh, MH Rashid, Rashid book. Yeah, then. So resistance is 33.33 divided by 2 into the switching frequency which is given as 25 kilohertz. Because we normally take the switching frequency greater than 20 kilohertz to avoid these uh, unwanted losses, ripples and everything. And that we take as 132 microhenry. So actually we are not going with the value 132 microhenry because we take the value to be 25% more. For a continuous conduction mode, uh, so we take 20, 25% uh, more. That means L minimum is equal to 25% more of 132, that is 165 micro Henry. The same we have done for buck and boost also. Now, the value of capacitance. So, while designing the value of capacitance, we should consider the voltage ripple because the equation has voltage ripple. Normally, it will, it will be less than 5%. So, R into delta V naught by V naught into F. Delta V naught by V naught is less than 5 percentage. So that value we get it like capacitance is 66.66 microfarad. Okay. So we, we now we have all the design parameters. Capacitance value we have, uh, the value of inductance we have, the duty ratio we have, then the time period means the one by frequency also we have, and resistance also we have. So all the design parameters we have. Now we go to, uh, we'll go to MATLAB and do the simulation. 
so this is the 2015 version of matlab which i am having so i have already made everything ready for you people so this is the buck boost converter the same design parameters i have set here input voltage 40 volt then uh, pulse generator period i have given 1 by 25 so 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 and pulse width is 55.55 everything you know because last time we did everything so r is there 165 L is there 66.6 micro Henry, then 33.3 ohm, everything. Then diode, the measurement uh, uh, simple I have removed from the diode. And now we will simulate and see what happens. So the design was for input voltage uh, 40 volt and output voltage is 50 volt. So you can see here from the display itself, like so almost 40, uh, almost 49, 40.43. So output voltage will be like. Let it get simulated. It's only 45 percent now. Taking some time. So the simulation is finished now. Just a, just simple only. Just like you have done the other simulations. Same so you can see that uh, the peak value is almost see the peak value is almost 50 voltage 49.38 almost you're getting and this will be uh, and this the what will be the value from here delta v naught this is this will be delta v naught no yeah this is a ripple this is the ripple that we consider while designing the capacitor value okay so i think you have understood thank you